that the symptoms come and go. That kind of really surprised me. Like, I've had so many different kinds of symptoms that were problems, and then like two months later, they like disappeared. And some symptoms like come back. Like, for example, I have problems with my voice, and um, the problems I have are being clear and also um, being soft spoken. Um, so that's something that have come come and go, and I um, have had speech therapy about three times now. Um, the number two thing that surprised me was that there are lots of people with Parkinson's that you start running into once you're diagnosed, but um, there are not very many people that you will meet with young um, onset. So that's why I do these videos because I hardly get to meet anyone with, with um, early onset. Even when I go to like the special events that we have, um, I've barely seen like one or two people at those events. And I don't know if because they're young and they're working or, or that they're not telling people they have Parkinson's, but probably it's that where it's still a small um, part of the Parkinson's population. Okay, the third thing that surprised me is that if you're the kind of person like me that likes to know everything, um, you may end up knowing more than people, well not people, but you may know more than medical professionals that you come across. I've especially found that with like certain therapists, like physical therapists, don't assume that they automatically know about Parkinson's. They may not work with that population. Or I've noticed that people kind of get confused when they're when they've always had older people that they've dealt with. Um, the number four, the fourth thing that I've been surprised about is that people don't really understand what Parkinson's Parkinson's is at all. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't think everyone knew about Parkinson's, but uh, when you're uh, younger than people expect, they really know, like, nothing, so you'll have to remember that. I look into Parkinson's. I read a lot about experiences that younger people had with people thinking that they were drunk, and I thought, like, oh, that's not going to happen to me. Who's going to think that I'm drunk? Well, I, I haven't had someone directly ask me if I'm drunk, but I've noticed that when I'm off and when my Parkinson's does show, show meaning that I shuffle or have some kind of slowness of movement, that people do think that I'm drunk. Um, I, well, at least I think they look at me like I'm drunk. Another thing that surprised me is that symptoms are different in everyone. And I know that you read that, but Really, once you start being around other Parkinson's people, you'll notice that that is really true. Something else that surprised me is that um, stress really affects Parkinson's, and they, you do like read that, but over the years, like any kind of, I've noticed any kind of stress kind of like really makes my Parkinson's um, worse, so that's something that I really have to control. One of the things that surprised me, um, you know, they talk about exercise a lot, and I found that exercise really does help me. It may not help other people with Parkinson's, but for me, if I don't exercise, then I get more symptoms, and I get um, stiffer, and more rigid. One thing that surprised me is that the amount of time it it takes to maintain a certain level of good health, um, meaning that I would say that Parkinson's is like a full-time job or at least a part-time job. Like you have to work on it to in order to feel okay. So 
example is like you have to have an exercise routine, you have to eat right, and every day is different, so you have to treat that day differently. I manage my energy because I have fatigue, so it's kind of like things like that. You haven't probably experienced, if you're younger, you haven't experienced something like that or having to do that. So it's kind of difficult being younger because we have a lot more, usually, responsibilities. Um, else. I guess the last thing is that my biggest surprise is that life goes on. When you're first diagnosed, you feel like your life is over, and it takes a long time to completely get over that. To be honest, I don't know if you completely get over that, but you feel better about life, and you do adapt um, to having Parkinson's, but it takes a long time to adapt. So if you have just been diagnosed, be easy on yourself. Realize that it will take um, many years. It's taken me three years. And that seems to be like sort of like the magic number, three years, um, to get to get over it and kind of not make it a major part of my life. So that's my big surprises. Do you have any surprises um, or anything that surprised you after you were diagnosed? If so, leave that in the comments for everyone to read. And have a good day. Bye.